Hello, welcome back guys. From this video, you will learn how to configure your ESP32 device to act as a matter device. So for the demonstrating purposes, we'll be using Apple ecosystem and you can try other ecosystems as well like Google Nest, Samsung SmartThings, Alexa, so on. So feel free to comment down your experiences in below comment section. Okay, now let's get started. So I'll be using Arduino to program the ESP32. So if you have not configured Arduino to program ESP32, I have done a video on how to configure Arduino to program ESP32. So pause the video here and go check it out and set up the Arduino and come back. Okay, after configuring ESP32 on Arduino, we have some tweaks to be done in the Arduino. First, we have to enable C++ 70 in Arduino IDE. For that, you need to find the platform.txt file in Arduino. So here in Mac, go to the directory and find it. And in Windows, uh, go to the path that I have provided and find the platform.txt. So there you can find ESP32 support start. Under that, find the key compiler.cpp.flags.esp32. Make sure it's ESP32 supports start section. Under there, find the value GNU++11. And change it to GNU++17. Okay. Now, if you are compiling for ESP32 S3, also ESP32 C3, change that value in a, in those sections as well after that restart the Arduino ID okay now we are going to install the matter library to Arduino ID for that go to the link provided in the description section and go to the release page and there find the latest release and download the ESP32 Arduino matter zip in the release section the current version is version 1.0.0 beta 5. Okay, after it's finished downloading, go to sketch library and zip library and select the downloaded file and click open. Then the library will be imported to Arduino ID. Now we have small configurations, so go to tools, select the correct board which is ESP32 dev module which I am using for the demo and go to the partition schema and select minimal SPIFFS. Also enable the erase all flash before upload. Ok now let's move to the wiring section. So for this, I'll be using ESP32 dev module. And the white color LED. And the push button. the breadboard and also we need some jumper wires to connect them first we'll plug the ESP32 to the breadboard And then we'll connect the LED. Then 
then connect the push button switch and then we'll start wiring so make sure the ground of the LED goes to the ground of the ESP32 connect the negative to the negative and the connect the other to the 23 pin and let's buy the switch also so we are using a common ground here so connect one pin to the ground and the other pin to the pin 22 of the ESP32 GPIO pin 22 then connect the ESP32 to the computer ok now we go to the Arduino IDE and do the coding go to the examples and select for ESP32 Arduino matter and select the light example here we are going to do some modifications so our LED pin is pin 23 so update it to pin 23 and also our toggle button pin is pin 22 and also go down and update the toggle button pin to uh, the pin mode to input pull up ok then select the Arduino board ESP32 dev module and then select the correct port and also make sure the other configurations are ok erase all flash before enabled uh, then the partition scheme should be minimal SPI FS if everything looks ok upload the code will take some time for the code to be compiled and uploaded ok now open the serial monitor then you will find the manual pairing code so note it down somewhere we want it in future ok now let's pair with Apple home kit and try click add then click add accessory then more options then you will find the meta accessory select the accessory and enter the setup code that we found in the serial monitor
Thank you for watching guys. So feel free to comment down your findings and problems in the comment sections below so we can discuss it further. So stay tuned for more.